What's up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 4 of Peaky Blinders. Now, I know episode 3 isn't up and that's because I recorded and then I went to edit and as soon as it came up on my screen I saw that I had no audio so I couldn't edit it and post it since you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So I sadly had to skip posting it and that it was a big bummer because it was actually a really good episode too. Like, Polly finally got like a little bit of bonding time with her son. Her son got bonding time with Tommy and the other Peaky Blinders. And what's his name? Sabini. I don't know his name. I think it's that he tried going after Tommy or like, you know, he had someone go after Tommy for him. And that didn't end too well for the dude, you know. Arthur kind of went ham on him, but that's Arthur for you. You know he has anger issues, but with how that ended, I want to know how, like, they're going to handle all that, and I know Polly doesn't want her son getting involved with the Peaky Blinders, so I guess we'll see what happens with that, so let's get into the episode. <laughs> The, in the intro sound is kind of different this time. Who's Harold? Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it ships and cracks. Did they have a guy that died last episode? I I kind of forgot if he died, like whenever that dude went after Tommy. For me to suggest a meeting? What? Surprises have only just begun. What you mean by that, buddy? Arrogant bastard. I'm not accustomed to being spoken to like that. Just come to order. I'm here to listen, but not to the fucking infantry. I'm off! Jesus! No. Everyone's talking so much at once. Some weeks ago. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, the pro treaty paddies and the king want the same man dead. Am I right? Are they talking about Sabini? I'm saying that's his name until I find out again, even though I've heard it a million times. <laughs> you will get no help from agents of the crime. And we can't be seen to be involved. You've been chosen, Mr. Shelby. Of course he has. Sometimes twice a week. These Irish enemies are fucking brothers and cousins who are stepping into a world you don't understand. Well, shit. I feel like they all walk a certain way and it's like, it's so weird but like capturing you know <laughs> straight to the violence That didn't take long for him to find him. <laughs> By order of the Peaky Blinders. By order of the Peaky Folk and Blinders. And I'm never gonna try and say that again because I probably didn't even do it good. <clears throat> You just been sitting down. How is your head bleeding? Thank you. Michael. Oh like no. Don't get involved, even though I kinda I kinda want you to, but also for Polly's sake, I don't. 
you know you can trust me. I want to help you, Tommy. Become legal. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be a good or a bad thing if he actually gets in. We're not open for winnings yet. I'm here to see Thomas Shelby. Is that Grace? Oh no, that's Ada. I have an appointment. Or not. I just thought I heard Grace and I was kind of hoping. That's the girl from the last episode. Damn it. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> that was a family matter. That's my keep it locked up for a minute. Yes, Thomas. I'll show you around. I drove into small heath. I thought I was gonna get murdered. I mentioned your name. It's like being escorted to see a king. Because he is one. You came here to get my girl, right? Well, you've got time to take the lady to the garrison. Show her the spa, the tea rooms. I'd like that. Why not? <clears throat> you want to fuck me, Mrs. Carlton? Um... That was pretty straightforward of you. Purely that. Because you're paying me a lot of money to train your horse, that's why I'm here. Purely that. Good. You know, I still don't know what you're going to call your horse. The horse will be called Grace's Secret. Oh my god, hell yeah. After Grace, in your face, he doesn't like you. I told him he definitely can't take the job. Does he like you though? He straight up just asked you, do you want to fuck though? I don't know. Let him leave. Every month or so, we'd be back. Oh, unless of course he meets a girl. And who knows? She basically just got her son back. Now she has to worry about if he's gonna leave again. Like hell. Three bob. Like hell. Three and six. Four. Four it is. She's making sure he gets his money. <laughs> That's why I'll keep him away from the old business. Put him in charge of the new. Agreed? Agreed. Let's see how long that lasts. Happy birthday, Monty. I'd say years old. You're a man, said I. Give me a drink. <laughs> gonna pray for him because I really hope he doesn't end up dying or anything for the garrison suppose we could shift it to the tops of the Aiden club why what is it that is part of an export drive we're now of a secure warehouse in Camden Town means our crates won't be searched and Polly all of the whiskey will be packed at the docks so Michael can do the books Without being involved. I can't be telling you all for a year now. Motor cars are the future. You know I hate to see you not even married yet. I have a fine looking cousin. She'll make your life hell. <laughs> you deserve her. <laughs> he deserves grace. Morning, Arthur. I was just passing. A stroll on past, not even bothered. Fucking love. The fucking onion and things. That's what it is. I've taken six hundred pounds on olives. Yeah, we're little bits of onion. But if you don't straighten up, 
It'll be John's turn in London. No, Nate. I can handle it. Mm, you sure about that? What's your business? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm lost here. <laughs> What? Oh. Looking for Ada. Who are you? I'm Tommy Shelby, bitch. Yep. <laughs> oh god, before you start sizing him up for a wedding suit, he's not interested in me. Or in girls of any kind. Ada! Why <laughs> don't you? You sure as hell won't go to the police. Can I have a minute with my sister, please? Yes, of course. Being respectable. <clears throat> Beneficiaries will be John's kids and Carl. In order for Carl to benefit, I need your signature. That's sweet. So for the counts, the money will be transferred. The money knows before it happens. I know what I know, you know. If you don't know, then uh, you don't fucking know, do you? What kind of explanation is that? Harry, okay. Where was you? And I ain't gonna fucking mention The great big fuck off elephant in the room. Look, Alfie. How many more bookies would it fucking unlock the fucking gates? I'm sorry, what, what are you saying, mate? <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Who's asking you? Hey. Write it down. It's all right, come on. Alfie's an old friend. Or oh, you're just scared of him. You know, it goes backwards and forwards. How much better is it when we're friends? Oh, it's much better, mate, yeah. You write that down. <laughs> well, what we're doing is we're writing down some kind of road. Uh, Thank you, Lisa. Write down Farringdon. No, 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 write down Camden. Farringdon Road. Camden. I write down Farringdon. Farringdon. Camden. Write down Camden Road. Just write down peace. Just write down peace. Mickey says she has the lungs of an elephant. She's nimble on the heavy going, but bounces a little on the hard ground. Sorry, I'll let you read. Yes, be quiet. Because I don't know about you, but if someone's talking to me while I'm reading, I can't read it. I'm sure my husband kept some in the garage. I can get someone to do it. This evening or tomorrow? You trying to sleep over? Why so far away from anywhere people usually stay over? For a guest to stay, we have a whole wing called Guest Wing. Oh, you are. You have a guess for me. Well, this feels awkward. Like, <laughs> when anyone sees a lighthouse, they stay clear, don't they? Steer clear, Tommy. Steer clear. I'm going to leave my wing. And I'm going to come find you. And I'm going to turn the handle of your bedroom door without making a sound. And none of the maids will know. There's a man in the house. They listen. They take turns. So, let them listen. So you're not steering clear. Without a Shelby by his side. So you're using me? Yeah. Hmm. Come on. You get used to it, then you can't stop. Hmm. I don't drink with blacks. Here we fucking 
God. And not with me, they're not. I don't drink in pubs with blacks. So leave. That's a good idea. Leave. Here. You fucking nigga. <laughs> My God. The white kid's a peaky blinder. He's Polly Shelby's son. He's Polly Shelby's son. Are you fucking suicidal? Apparently. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Get out. She's a dancer, Lord. She can do things with her. Then you just piss off or blind a little bit better. <laughs> Marcus, eh? Where's your dad? Preaching. Right. Are they going to beat him up? Knowing Arthur, they're going to beat him up. Walked on an Oh no, I already know what's about to happen. Is that gasoline? Are they about to burn the place down? Burning it down. You didn't have to do that for me. We didn't do it for you, Michael. We did it for the good name of the company. None of this happened, all right? Come on, let's go and get that drink. Which I know to be worthless. That is why I have been settling my affairs in the event of my death. You ain't dying. We got another, like, Four, four seasons. Yeah, four seasons. There's six seasons. This man I trust. If I should die, then you will die. Hello? Who are you? Who's that? Call got cut. I guess the telephone lines in England are not so... He was calling Grace. Okay, wait. Wait, I... I didn't know she was in London. I thought she was in New York. Like, oh God. I'm not even worried about Tommy and the other girl because it's like, I don't even know why Tommy was at that other lady's house. Like, was it because he was scoping out other dude's house or something? I don't know. Or maybe he did just go there because he wanted to, but I still have faith for them. I'm always going to be shipping Tommy and Grace. It's just how it is. <laughs> but it's like, finally, we just got to what, episode four? So that's basically half the season. And now Grace is back. She should have been back, but I guess she had to be away for a bit because, you know, the whole thing between them and she's now married. Does she have a kid? Has it been that long? I forgot how long it's been. It's been like a year or two. If she has a kid, I can't say anything though. But it's just like, I am so happy that he actually tried to call her. <laughs> but then I feel bad that her husband answered the phone. But. I just want to know why they were there. 
because she was in New York and now she's back in London. <sighs> so much happened this episode. Like Michael and Isaiah or whatever his name is getting into a bar fight just because the dude didn't like that he was black. Like, are you kidding me, Bo? What is he doing that's bothering you? He's drinking a drink. You're drinking a drink. Leave him alone. He wasn't talking to you until before. Like, aggravating as fuck. And then Tommy. Tommy thinks he's gonna die. Is that why he called Grace? Because he thinks he's about to die and he wanted to talk to her? <sighs> she just needs to divorce that man already and just go back to Tommy. They still got shit to work out though, so I know it's not going to happen anytime soon. Because I think it's going to happen. But it's like... <laughs> I don't even know what to expect. So it's like Alfie and Sabini, they are now at peace again or something like that. Because apparently they weren't good before, but now they are since they did that written, written thing. That whole scene was just like, <laughs> what? But apparently Sabini seems to be like really intimidated by Alfie, so... But then also not, because he wasn't going to like have his way about the like streets because they were fighting against like which street for whatever thing <sighs> I just where is it gonna go from here how are they gonna see each other again like Grace and Tommy how are they gonna meet again for the first time I'm ready for that scene forget the other lady you seem cool, but I'd rather Grace, you know? <laughs> but I don't know, I'm ready to just see what happens next, I guess. So, come back for episode five. <laughs>